What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So we have a winner on Patreon, man. You guys said that we should watch The Boys. So we are a superhero channel, I guess, in a, you know, in a way. Uh, <laughs> what? Because we're not a superhero channel. But we definitely have <laughs> dove into the genre, man. We went on a whole Marvel journey, and we're almost at the end of it. But so many people on our Patreon have been saying that we need to watch The Boys. You know, guys, I'm not even going to lie to you. It's pretty interesting that there's uh, Amazon shows. It's an Amazon exclusive, then? I think so. So you guys are having us check out Amazon exclusives. That's pretty cool, man. I didn't know that you guys were into those. But if there's any more that you guys want to see, man, please let us know. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, man. We have a long journey ahead of us. We're going to knock this series out. And just turn on the notification bells if you guys want to know when we upload. Hit us up on Patreon if you want the full uncut reaction. Ready? I'm ready. All right, guys. This is The Boys. Everyone said they're excited for me to see this. I have no idea why. No one really said they're excited for you to see it. Yeah. But I'm excited <laughs> for you to see it. Uh, <laughs> you ready? Yes. Let's go. The name of the game. Oh, All shoot. Right. Adult content, <laughs> graphic language, graphic violence, nudity, strong sexual content. All right. Vought Studios. Interesting. Can't kill what you can't see. Translucent Invisible Force 2. Invisible Force 1 was lame. I'm all about rising tide. Rising tide, a deep. Translucent could kick the deep's ass. Ow, he's invisible. That's like all he's got. That's it. Okay, the city sucks already. I see trash. They took that conversation to the extreme, didn't they? Yeah. They were really thinking about that. <laughs> Y'all better run! <laughs> Okay, all kinds of truck. Money. Oh, it was a it was a woman superhero. I like that. That's cool. Stay back. Just stay the fuck back. Dang, they ended up hostages. Y'all suck. Oh, nice. A gun melter. That is a cool costume. Homelander. Boys, okay? It's <laughs> a funny name. He's like Homeland Security. Can I get a selfie? Of course you can. Seven's Queen Maven Homelander made another heroic save today. A truck on the streets of Brooklyn. So this is pretty much everything in one. Bluetooth he was in Scream, right? In stereo, so you can put it all around your living room, have some fun with it. You said you Maybe. have a standard cable so. box. Uh, it costs a little bit more, but the carbon's way more conductive. That's what I'm saying. This thing's getting expensive in here. I know. How do you know I need all that? That's you at Micro Center. <laughs> right. Hey, Gary. Um, really need to talk to you about Later, something. Later, kid. Real. Okay. Cool. You went in like 30, 30 minutes, like a solid 45. Excuse me, sir. Hi. I'd like to make an appointment for you to come over and lay some cable. Oh, that's okay. a girlfriend? Uh, <laughs> oh, that's Robin Hood. So, did you ask him? Who? Gary. Did you ask Gary? For the raise? Oh no. Yeah. Look, it was a crazy day and, and he was super busy, but tomorrow for sure. Yes. Okay. This is like when we started dating. Get some Dude, balls on me. I had to ask you out. <laughs> well, excuse <laughs> me Jesus for Christ. waiting. You ever hear of chivalry? Listen, this is about you getting what you deserve. Well, I mean, we can't keep, you know, laying pipe at your dad's play. Trying to be Definitely able to not. Bring <laughs> up with that dumb Billy Joel. Poster. When you ever besmirch Billy Joel. Did she blimp? She dissolved? What's that blood? What? She exploded? Is that her bones? She got hit with like a laser weapon or something. <gasps> that is crazy. Oh. <gasps> he trucked her. I can't stop. I can't stop. I can't stop. Robin. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Robin. Robin! That was crazy, right? Was that the invisible Robin! guy? Or was... <laughs> I guess. That was wild. What the heck? So that dude ran right through her and then said, I can't stop. <laughs> and took off. He just straight did but a it's hit okay. and run. You don't, you don't have to cry. I think this is supposed to be like a comedy or something. I don't know. He did a hit and run? I guess. <laughs> this is the Barracuda? Cuda? <laughs> Man, that's an expensive way to train, lady. You'd been better off joining the gym. Not that. Lifting your car. I'm 110 pounds and I'm five foot six. Dang, she tall. How tall are you? 
Like five three five four. Okay. You ain't no damn you five four. You five five. No, I'm not. Sorry. <laughs> you should turn away from the camera and you should close your eyes or else I'll blind you. Whoa. I am so sorry. Are you all right? I was born super abled. Uh, hmm. My mom was thrilled. She took me to all the little Miss Hero pageants, but I hated it. Oh, I mean, I can still smell the hairspray. Uh, but at the Q&A, they always asked me what my wish was. And I always said to save the world. And the judges just chuckled like it was cute, but it wasn't a joke to me. Since when did hopeful and naive become the same thing? I mean, why would you get into this business if not? to save the world. That's all I have ever wanted. Aww. And that's why I've always wanted to be in the seven. Okay, so they're called the seven. The so this is like Avenger tryouts, basically? Basically, yeah. Oh, he's distraught. I mean, would you, wouldn't you be? <laughs> yeah, of course. I'm just kidding, Robin's service was nice. Did you see how many people came? Wow, a lot of respect for that girl, a lot of love in the room, and the spread. What a spread. Just really nice. That's like the cheese, right? Mm -hmm. So you think this is about to be a villain arc for him? Oh, jeez. Maybe there's a movie on. No, keep it. No, we can keep it. Yeah, probably so. <clears throat> we probably hate some dudes. He didn't even stop. My deepest condolences to Robin Ward's family. I was chasing these bank robbers. She just stepped in the middle of the street. Couldn't. She was a half step off the Yeah, floor. she was right on the curb. Right. Now, just, <clears throat> right. Uh, don't get upset, okay? Just, uh, he knows. Everyone at Vought is just, just wrecked about Robin. Now, you two weren't married, and look, technically, there's no there's legal claim. There's no legal claim. claim, that makes sense. But Vought wants to do the right thing. Offer you 45000 in restitution. All you have to do is sign right here, and I'll offer you the check. What's that, a non-disclosure? Basically. This is a confidentiality agreement. The boilerplate NDA. I signed this, and I can't talk about it. To have to pretend like it didn't happen, like I wasn't holding Robin's arms in my hands. Look, I know mm. you're upset, but we're just trying to help. Then say you're sorry. Excuse me? And you people say our condolences and my sympathies and our regrets, but nobody can look me in the f***ing eye and say I'm sorry. I'm not signing anything. Get out. <laughs> Get the hell out! Oh, I was about to say. Yeah, because this guy's a, uh, remember? He He's won't like say anything. He's like a pushover. You okay? Don't take the money. As I said, boilerplate NDA, really pretty standard stuff. Can I think about it? If you have any questions at all, just, uh. So Vought is the company. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any maniacs out there? Mm -mm. Quiet night, like every night. It's too bad. Could really use the press right now. Mm. Oh, Annie. I'm hungry. Don't worry, I didn't get the job. You don't know that. She's eating mac and cheese. <laughs> They're auditioning girls nationwide. Besides, Countess probably got it. She's so good in a room. If you're negative, negative things happen to you. Hello? Yes, I'm her mother. Uh, yes. Uh, well, one moment. Hello. Yes, this is she. I got it. You got it! <laughs> uh, I'm so I'm so sorry. That's a weird connection. I don't know what that was actually. Uh, what you doing? You file a criminal case against A Train. Sleeps are like cops. They can't be charged for damages while they're on the job. Okay. But maybe we can file a wrongful death. I just got to get Robin's parents to sign off on it. Oh, they can't be charged while they're on the job. Yeah, I'm not. Oh. I'm not <laughs> He's patting the couch. Good for you. You want to make this right, what happened to Robin? <laughs> Dad moment. But you can't. So sign this. What? This is a lot of money, Huey. Not really. Only 45 it. grand? I know. She's irreplaceable. I can't. Dad, they killed her. Be realistic, okay? Even if we could pay for a lawyer, and that's a big if, there's no case. She was in the street. Be like if a bus hit. Dad, she was one step I, off the curb. Huey, look. I saw look. it. You can't do this. My dad, I have. You don't have the fight. You never have. He's saying he'll sink money into it and then chicken out. I'm sorry, but it's, he it's don't, true. He don't have the balls to see it through. Neither do I. Maybe it's like Daredevil and come they own everything. On, Remington Steel's on. Huey, go. Oh, you mean like the lawyers and everything on their side? Right, because when they when he gave them that money, it seemed like they were big. There she is. Welcome to New York. I'm Ashley Barrett, director of relations. So are all these people here for me? Oh, honey, <laughs> who else would they be here for? Ladies and gentlemen, our latest film, G-Men World War, just grossed shy of $1.7 billion worldwide. You know, none of that really matters because job one, managing, courting, and advising the brave heroes who put themselves in harm's way each and every day for us. 
Let's take a look. So they really like him in this world, huh? Yeah, and she said they get an income? A world hmm. without crime. Interesting. With liberty and justice for all. That's within our reach. Thanks to the 200 plus superheroes in the Vought family. We see a bright future ahead where there is a Vought hero in every town. Mm, that's really weird. I don't know if I like that. That's interesting, right? What if you get a crappy one? Exactly. <laughs> like one who runs through people and then lies about it? Yeah. Including the jewel in Vought's crown. The greatest superhero the world's ever seen. The Seven. That is our job, our honor. We are Vought. We make heroes super. <laughs> we make heroes super. Hmm. I have a very exciting surprise for you. Both a member of the Seven and Lord of the Seven Seas, live and in person, the Deep! <laughs> He kind of looks like Aquaman or something. Yeah, like, he, he definitely goes, goes underwater. Yeah, he's definitely in the sea. They probably just said that, but, you know, I don't know his <laughs> characters. I didn't know what he's about to look like. Thank you, everybody. After a long, distinguished career, Devin, my good friend, the Lamplighter, has retired. Let's give him a big thank you. What do you say? Oh, the Lamplighter. You do it, but now, <laughs> as we turn towards the future, I'd like to introduce someone very special. I, for one, can't wait to work with her. Please welcome Darlight. Aw, so she's a replacement. The Lamplighter. What the heck happened to him? He retired. Ladies and gentlemen, Starlight and the So there's a whole lot of fame that comes with this, huh? Yeah, it's cool there's one in every town. Such a punch in the face. <laughs> Jeez, man. He's gonna go over to like the freaking toilet paper. He's gonna be on that too. He's gonna be on everything. <gasps> no. Well, you gotta move, right? <laughs> Basically. You gotta move, you gotta kill that guy one. Check this out. We have two Worldview 4 satellites in geocentric orbit. Dang, that's a nice little headquarters. Like a compound really thing? getaway car's license that's plate it. from 380 miles up. Well, it's kind of cold that in there, though. I mean, I was working with a police scanner that I bought on eBay. Yeah, well, not anymore. You know something? On my first day, I, uh, well, I, I felt like a fraud. Yeah. But the good news is, everybody feels that way. Thank you. Aww. That's some good advice. Yeah. At least they work together nicely. But hey, we're a team now. We'll help each other out. Bet growing up you had a poster of Homelander on your wall, huh? No, actually, I, I don't know. Homelander is so, he's like Jesus or something. Is he? <laughs> you want to know the truth? We met him, right? <laughs> I actually had a poster of you. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. Oh. I kind of, I kind of had a school girl crush on you. Oh my, oh my God. <laughs> I hope that's not inappropriate to say. No, 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 it's not inappropriate at all. It's just, it's kind of wild. Dang, brother. What? What? I mean, you said you had a crush on me. I figured that, you know. Oh, Read the room. Hey, look, you're gorgeous. I'm not, I'm not talking about sex. He's like, can you come here? Pole smoke. Yeah, whoa, get whoa, back whoa, in whoa. here. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Just wait, 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 wait. how bad <laughs> would it be in the seven? Uh-uh. Excuse me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, hey. So now we're just, we're just talking. Wait. And look, I know. That whole thing just came out of left field, though. It. Your powers are no joke. No, she said, I had a crush on you. He said, oh, well, is, you have a crush on me? <laughs> I'm reading the signs. If I say so, you know, you'd be out of here. Especially since you attacked me. Man, whoop <gasps> his ass. I what? Yeah, look. I thought you were so nice. I mean, that, that's not what you really want, right? Or we come together as a team. You and me. Just roll with the punches for like three minutes, maybe. It's not a big deal. And then you know what happens? All your dreams come true. Or she could blind you. Yeah, or she could like stab sure you in the You guys have abdomen. all heard. So tell us, how are you able to, to vanish? No, I don't actually vanish. My skin turns into this carbon metamaterial that bends <gasps> the light. Like an invisibility cloak. You have to be completely naked, right? So he's like Jessica Alba. Yeah. You interested in a nanny cam? Because we're actually 
running a special on that. Um, it's a pretty popular bear with his cameras in the eyes. Tell me, how many nannies shake their babies? Uh, I'm sorry? Anything I can help you with today, or...? I'm not gonna piss you about. Oh. I heard what happened to Robin. I'm sorry, who are you? She wasn't in the street, she was one step off the f***ing curb, and you didn't take the payoff. Right. Yeah, I said, who the hell are you? How do you know that? Name's Butcher. <laughs> Billy Butcher. Billy Butcher. But you and me should have a little bit of a chat. So this dude's with the FBI? Yeah. You don't sound like a fed. Well, I can't emigrate. It's a giant green slapper with her ass in the harbor that says different. You don't really look like one either. No? What do I look like? Like you're staring in a version of the Matrix. Well, what it's all heck? right there in black and white. See, you ain't alone, son. There's a lot more than you think. Oh, he's gonna help him probably, Suits maybe. Hundreds. Aren't they making money? Movie tickets. Yeah, advertising. Theme parks. Advertising. Video something. games. Yeah, he was on everything in that grocery store. I mean, that's what Kind of like Snoop Dogg. Corporate lobbyists. <laughs> See, people love that cozy feeling that Soup's given. Can't you swoop out the suit? You don't gotta do it yourself. But if you knew how the sh** they get up to, die bomb. That is where I come in. Come in to, to do what? Spank the bastards when they get out of line. <laughs> how do you spank a soup? Come on, Is he son. a soup? Uh, where? you love it. Uh, not likely. Uh, listen, that's good. I'm good. Uh, thank you for an extremely <laughs> weird conversation, but, uh, I don't want to go to a second location with you, so... <laughs> I'm gonna get back to work. Thank you. Huey! Huey! Give him the card. He's so submissive. He stops. This is your one and only, name. man. Once I go, I'm gone. I'm offering you the opportunity to get them and got your girl. What have you got to lose? You ain't already lost. I feel like we might look back and realize he might should've just walked away. Right. Or he is still young. He's got his whole life. Yeah, because he's gonna. Oh, he did. <laughs> he did walk away. I thought he was gonna accept. Where are we? Oh, he is gonna are accept, we? or he wouldn't be in the show. Oh, you're right. And by now, we gonna find someone real. Got your message. Thank you for being an upstanding citizen. You know this is police brutality, man. You know what they'll do to me? They catch me letting you in. Not half of what I'll do if you don't. You just say you were police? Yeah, you know, cop fed, all the same with like that. What in God's green earth? You draw up off the floor and try to blend in. The only place where the soups can scratch you. I wonder how much they get paid for Without the paps taking snaps. That's like an Ant-Man. <laughs> What is going on in this show? <laughs> Further. There, there. Stop. Wait, wait, wait. Adrian's, Adrian's here right, right now? Was. He would this be there. Last night. Oh, last night. I cannot believe you ran through a You hear something crazy? I ran so fast through this I swallowed one of her molars. <laughs> like a bug on the freeway. Dude, that's nasty. So he runs fast. He's not. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't even feel remorseful at all. You're laughing. Like she's a joke. <laughs> so what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> like I'm not really sure yet. Right. Plan. He might run through me too. Clean yourself up. Never let them see you like this. Translucent, you're a pervert. Oh. Oh man. That guy's a superhero. And he's just creeping yeah, in the girl's restaurant. You know what I'm saying? Y'all oh, are wild. Even Homelander. Homeland is the exception. Doesn't drink, doesn't smoke, and it's a saint. Yeah. So they're just bad. Yeah. Wow. What are these? Interesting. That's the police log the day that Robin got murdered. Bar fights, a few cars got nicked. But you know what's not in there? No bank alarms going off. No one charged the central booking. A train stopped two bank robbers my ass. Someone's hiding something. Hiding what? Why yeah, if it was just bank robbers, wouldn't he have stopped? Why couldn't he stop? I mean, what was in that bag? You know, who was he running from? Or where was he running to? Bingo. Work that out, and we'll have the f I can smell it. Okay. Okay. So, um, what can I do to help? Here's what you do. Ring Vaughn. Tell him you'll take the money, sign the NDA, but only if A-Train's there in person when you do it. Why does A-Train need to be there? Then they'll take you into the seven tower through security and meet him, and then you're gonna plant a bug. A bug? A bug. And we'll have a little listen. See what's really going on. Okay, let me Sounds just, illegal, sorry. though. Let me I just know. get this straight. You want me to, you want me to go to seven tower by myself and and you and you want me to plant a bug like i'm what like i'm f james bond <laughs> exactly <laughs> you're going you're fbi if you're fbi then get a warrant why do you why do you even need me Huey, Huey, look mate i got a warrant all right but that place is firewalled 
untappable and locked up tighter than a nun's knickers. I couldn't get myself in there in a million years, but you, son, you could do it. No, no, oh, he's not really FBI, right? I can't. Right. No, you yeah. didn't see what if he's lamp light? And, and, and I'm, what, I'm just supposed to go in there and I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to shake his hand and smile? Yeah. I'm not, I'm not, do you know who my favorite musician is? Who? James Taylor. Number two, Simon and Garfunkel. Number three, Billy Joel. Any of those guys, they don't infiltrate, okay? I'm not an infiltrator. Oh, Huey, f grow up here. You heard that laughing at your girl. No. Okay, no. No, I can't. I can't do that. Sorry, I'm just gonna it up, and you're not gonna have your bug, and I'll be dead. Yeah, he's really <laughs> using you, because there's no, no reason for him to be trying like to work you. with you, brother. This is amazing, Madeline. Thank you for this. My kid is gonna lose his mind. Ah, oh, it's our pleasure. Just do not sell it online. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what are you thinking? Baltimore is a beautiful town. You've got a problem. Your homicide rates are up, what, 62%? The police are not closing cases. You're on the verge of needing a federal lifeline. Cut to the chase, Madeline. Who are you proposing? Nubian Prince. Fits your population's demo, but not too militant. Caucasians love him too, with a 59% approval rate. I am willing to Dang, give so you a three-year exclusive contract with full PR support and I'm gonna give you nine and a half points of the merchandising. Wow. I thought he was in Detroit. Well, we're thinking about making a move. How much? 300 million a year. <laughs> 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 I know, I know, it's a tough swallow. <laughs> but we both know that your city needs a hero. 200 million for Nubian Prince. I can sell that. Mm. I'm sorry, Steve, I can't do it. We've got Atlanta waiting in the wings. I think maybe you can. <laughs> And why is that? I happen to know about Compound V. Oh, remember that name. What is Compound V? Type of rumor that could really tarnish those heroes of yours. Nobody wants that. People need heroes. Now, I can make sure that that stays a rumor because I'm a friend. But friendship does cut both ways. I'm sorry, Steve. I don't know what you're talking about. 300 million is the price. Or we go to Atlanta. I don't think he's bluffing. So? How amazing. That's crazy. What's Homelander like? He's busy. I haven't really met him yet, but... Yeah, don't meet your heroes. I gotta tell right. you what happened. Oh, I forgot. And Patty is going on and on about how her daughter got into med school. And I'm thinking, so what? My daughter got into the seven. Mm. Anyway, so so what did you want to tell me? Everything's great. Just how we dreamed. Um, Mom, actually, you know what? I have to go. All right, bye, honey. That's so sad, man. It just ain't what she thought it was. Right. She was in it for the right reasons. No shot. Will tag team action? Maybe. <sighs> oh, I'd walk away. I didn't do it. <laughs> um, excuse me. I'm sorry. Are, are, are you okay? Just seemed like a tough call. All right, I don't mean to bother you. No, no, it's okay. Uh, I'm fine. I'm just, I'm just having a bad day. Yeah, me too. Uh, like a, a work thing or a, a life, life thing? A work thing. You? Uh, life thing. You know how you have this image of yourself? I thought I was strong, you know, made of steel, fighter. And then I was faced with this horrible situation with this asshole. And I just heard my mom's voice in my head. Keep smiling. The show must go on. And mm -hmm. I didn't fight. Maybe you misunderstood. Now I just feel sick. Partly because I did it, but mostly because it turns out I'm not who I thought I was. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, I'm um, sorry. I, I didn't mean to just dump all of that. No, no, it's you. totally fine that you dumped. Um, <laughs> Why does he keep making weird jokes like that? <laughs> so do, do, do you like your job? It's the only thing I've ever wanted. It's a good job. Like, you're not selling kids smack. It's a great <laughs> job. He's mad he said that. I can help a He's lot. He's like, why am I using these terms? <laughs> thing is, I... Um, <laughs> used to know this girl and we used to go skating at Rockefeller and I'd be on the side with this death grip on the rails she would just charge headfirst into the middle of the rink and she wasn't good like she fell a lot but she was never scared mm -hmm. and she always used to say just because you fall on your ass doesn't mean you have to stay there so you fell on your ass you know that's not who you are so who are you there's some deep bench talk <laughs> that's what I'm saying for his gump over here <laughs> I'm a fighter I'm gonna fight yeah Let's go. I'm gonna take that son of a head clean off his body. Okay, wow, that was, okay. <laughs> I think your coworker cool. though. <laughs> a little scary, but, but cool. I'm, I'm Huey, by the way. Annie. Huey. <laughs> Huey and Annie. I'd be embarrassed to be like, hi, I'm Huey. <laughs> it's all my Hueys out there, man, no offense, no offense. My name's not much better, to be honest. Okay, man, I'm in. 
It's ringing. Yeah, hello. Hi, hi. Yes, hello. Hello, Mr. Friedman. It's Huey Campbell. I got your message. And and 45K, it's just it's just bingo, life <laughs> life changing. Um, but I just need one thing before I, I, I sign anything. I need an apology from A Train. Uh, he already apologized. Well, no, no, no. No, he has, and he, yes, he sent his he sent his regrets and his sympathies on on TV. But I, I, if I could just get an apology face to face, that would be fantastic. Just to just for closure, just to put just to put a button on it. Okay, but uh, Hugh, I'm telling you, the answer is going to be no. All right, in that in that case, can you just give me hello? Oh hell, <laughs> mm -mm. they hung up. I don't think they're going to go. Oh yes, they will. <laughs> All right, mate. Starlight, don't want to be late to your first official meeting. I had a whole welcome speech planned. Sorry, sir. Please, home letter's fine. We're getting to wonder if you'd even show up. You know, all that pressure, it's a lot for anyone to swallow. Shut your ass oh, up. Oh, hell no. Yeah. Hey, 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 guys, come on, stop. What's Starlight gonna think? Listening to us haggling over nickels. <laughs> nickels. <laughs> seven, for God's sake. Million. Whether we're out there or we're in here. Now, what I do want to hear is who you saved this week. <laughs> huh? Who's up for that? Black Noir. <laughs> Who is that? Do you have a dog? No. All right, give us your phone. <laughs> How's security to worry about? In fact, they're a bunch of muppets, and the metal detector won't pick this up, right? And what they'll probably do is take you through the security and then up into the boardroom. Sit down, be nice, congenial. They're real polite, like tell me not to take a fetch. Go into the bog, take the bug out, peel back the plastic bit to reveal the sticky side, put the plastic bit in the bog, flush it. Then go back into the boardroom, sit down, big smiles, plant the bug underneath the table. Easy peasy, Japanesey, Bob's your uncle, that's that. I like that one. That's that. Bob's your uncle, that's that. That was, that was a lot. That was, I, hold on, can you just, can you repeat it again just a little bit slower because I... Shh, listen, Huey, calm down. <laughs> this is like that scene in The Matrix. Now, you could take the red pill, right? Spend the rest of your life off, crying into your chai tea, green latte, what the This or is chai. <laughs> you could take blue pill. Or was it the red pill anyway? Take the other pill and quit being a <laughs> pill that you want me to take. <laughs> Just quit being a That was a lot of steps though. <laughs> Not really. For me. You really just gotta take it out, throw the plastic away and plant it. Oh, he's gotta go to the But what's the bog? What? He said, take it into the bog. I don't know what a bog the is. The bathroom, bro. Oh, He's the Australian. Just like British or whatever the heck. Sorry, what is a bog, man? Where What's do you a have bog, to be mate? in the world to hear a bog? Australia? That sounds like a South thing. Sir, could you empty your pockets, please? <laughs> I wasn't supposed to do that. <laughs> <laughs> the music. Thank you. You're in there. He's having fun now. Oh, that's cool. It's a V. Their table. Oh, we scratched my back. Oh, down, down, down. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you, babe. Excuse me. Can, can I, uh, can I use your bathroom? Just to be clear, A Train's apology isn't an admission of any sort of culpability whatsoever. Do you understand? Oh, he came bloody. Sorry about having your girlfriend. All right. I think he's picturing that because it didn't look like it when he walked oh. him off the elevator. <laughs> hey, dude, are you okay? Fine. I appreciate the apology. Accidents happen, right? After all, I mean, you were saving the world. Okay, great. Thank you so much. As you know, a crime fighter's work is never done. Douglas here will handle the rest of the paperwork for you, okay? Thank you. Wow. <laughs> so Who not genuine. <laughs> So PR people around them are constantly monitoring like their image to the public 24-7. As I'd imagine. <gasps> oh, you idiot. <laughs> Wait, why is she in there? Oh, maybe there's only one. Why are you still in there, bro? You're so weird. <laughs> Out of all places, though, like, you're hiding someone's room. Like, oh. <laughs> oh. And I look him 
right in the eye and I smile. What are we uh what are we doing here? Well you gotta go to work, don't you? He yeah, thought he done join the team. Uh, <laughs> I don't, uh, well, I mean uh, all I need you for right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but I I can I can help with other stuff, you know. I could I could be like your tech guy, you know, like I could be in the van with the <laughs> thing and like you know, he's down the hall to the left. Like he's like Batman or something. He's look, Alfred. Son, yeah. I, uh, I think it's best that I take it from here, you know what I mean? Yeah, but I, I, can, I can really help. I know you can help. I got you. You ever seen a tear up 45K? I mean, you should have used that money. Yeah. You're a good lad. Miss Stillwell, I wasn't sure you'd call. Huh, this chafes but um <laughs> i'm willing to come down to 230 million for nubian prints that's very reasonable maddie thank you and steve this um compound b any rumors you may have heard about my heroes libelous and completely untrue but we all know how rumors spread so i'd appreciate your discretion of course yeah my word she's like caroline yeah I'm have a break. safe mm -hmm. flight home good night huey you lock up yeah yeah thanks carrie <gasps> Sorry, we're closing up. Oh, that was Invisible Man, huh? Mm hmm Hello? Who are you? The f you think I wouldn't find this thing? Oh. <gasps> Huey. <gasps> no! Yeah, I followed you from the f***ing tower. <laughs> 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 Who's that guy who was in the car? Who was he? He yeah, put you up to this? He was just some Uber driver, Don't okay? Don't give me some bullshit Uber driver. I'm a f***ing idiot. <gasps> Why'd you find it the This is so crazy. We're the seven. Earth's most mighty champions of the innocent. Motherfucker. Ah! Dang, you ran him over. Whoa. Sorry about this. Man, that guy didn't fight back at all, did he? Mm-mm. Jeez. Ain't the invisible. Oh, nice. That was a smart move. There's a whole new meeting in shadow boxing, don't it? Yeah. This is insane. Who are you? Spy? You're gonna tell me. Or we're gonna smash your scalp off. Oh, you better hit him. Who are you? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Tell you who you are. Moron. Translucent doesn't even mean invisible. It means semi-transparent. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Oh, is that his butt? <laughs> oh, shoot. Is he is he dead? Boy, I ain't moving. How'd you know the kills, electric could do the job? Skin's carbon. Highly conductive. Saw it on a... Oh, yeah, he thousand. said that. Uh, would have taken me forever to work that one out. <laughs> so you don't need each other. Let's get him in the boot. Wait, what? Wait, what? What? Uh, the trunk. No, no. I mean, what are we? What are we? What are we doing with him? Well, Huey, you just off one of the seven, mate. <laughs> me? I? You, you? You hit him with a car. <laughs> he, he he attacked us. Okay, and you're you're a federal officer. You know, just just call it the FBI. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So look. Technically, I'm not a fed. Oh, man. <laughs> what? So do you think that guy's going to stay invisible when he's dead? I don't know. Don't worry about it, kiddo. It's just a little turbulence. Be okay. That lady told him to have a safe flight really sadistically. Dad. Dad. What's he doing out here? Aren't you guys friends? Oh, I was escorting. No, he's not. They were hyping him up like he was just so perfect and pure. Right. He just murdered that little boy. So he didn't take the deal, so she had him take her his plane down? Yeah. Wow. All right, what did you just say? Sorry, I didn't even hear you say that. That jump was wild. I was like, la, la, la. <laughs> so, uh, what did you just so say? So she, he didn't take the deal with the Nubian prince, right? She, right. He wanted, and so she didn't like that, so she had him off his plane? Basically, yeah. She, yeah, she uh, got but rid of him. But she was acting like he was just an option, though. 
like Atlanta was available. Like she was bluffing. Oh, geez. She really wants to. I mean, it seems like she wants to implant that guy. It was Baltimore, right? Was that what it was? Baltimore? I think so. Yeah. It seems like she really wanted that guy. So they offed him. They're about to replace his ass. Wow. That was crazy. So yeah, I didn't buy that. This guy was just some innocent, whatever the heck, man. There's no way that if he was as good as they say he is, he would put up with all that shit. Yeah, his team is pretty crazy. Right, absolutely. So, yeah, because they were just saying this guy's pure and innocent and he's not like everybody else. But I don't know, man. This guy right here, he's a paid for assassin, (laughs) basically. So, I mean, I guess in a sense, like if you're a superhero like this and you're committing these, I don't really know how bad they are, but they're obviously like pretty terrible. I mean, that one guy is basically casting couch people. And then the other guy is running through people and lying about it so the whole machine's basically covering for them they're gonna do whatever the machine tells them to do because they're like terrible people so right there's no willing to how there's no like limits how terrible these people will be right what do you think about the show i thought it was just interesting because all the superheroes we see are more like starlight yeah that's their passion to be to save the world and then these people over here (laughs) (laughs) crazy right the interesting thing to me is like not really knowing their powers so far mm. or not knowing, you know, cause you know, in first episodes, we normally get like how they get the power, how, you know, or they don't even have it at first, but here we are, we're sma- we're like dropped right into the middle of it. Right. It seems like the point of this show to me was interesting is going to be trying to take these people down because the vibe that I'm getting is like the whole entire, the government, the system, everything is being ran. And it's all being propped up by these basically superheroes. Right. And their powers are keeping people like scared of them in a sense. So you can't really speak against it. Yeah. But if I'm living in that reality, I'm like, who the hell voted for this? <laughs> right. like, I don't like this. Yeah, I don't like this. But, it said, but they also like said that they control a lot of like the money. Like they have merchandising sales. That's like, what I'm saying. They, they're and, like, uh, and essentially, if you think about it, they're so important because they protect the cities, quote unquote. So maybe that's why they're looked upon like maybe they're actually protecting the crime. So they just like kind of like give them a blind eye. They're probably creating the damn crime to right. give them a reason to be there. <laughs> right. I don't like it. I don't right? like it. I didn't you know think I mean? of that. Like, yeah. I don't like it. I don't like the. Because uh, you need a need for them, right? Yeah. You have that, to man. for like, 200 million a year, you like, know? Imagine a cop kills somebody. Imagine <laughs> a cop kills your girlfriend, right? And then they want you to come by and they come and they pay you off. You're not even married. They try to pay you off and make you sign it in a non disclosure. Screw these people. They got to go. But I really like this show, man. I'm really into it for sure. I just think uh, I'm rooting for that dude, man. He's a step up a little bit. I, you know, his character obviously will develop into someone who isn't so scared. Hopefully, right. After being I like I like how they have him in it. I don't really like the superheroes. I'm not going to lie. Like I like the idea of the superheroes. Like I love the fact the superhero show. But what I'm saying is I don't like the characters other than that girl. Because like why would because I? Because they're, they're, they they're are bad. bad. Yeah. But I think the dynamic between uh, the guy who claimed to be an FBI agent and the other guy. Billy. I'll Billy learn their and names Huey. after a couple Billy episodes. Billy and Huey. I really like that dynamic. I yeah. think it's going to be funny. I do too. Yeah. They're uh, definitely my favorite. They're definitely the heroes. And it seems like that's what's cool about it. The heroes are like the villains. Yeah. And but we think they're heroes. Everyone thinks they're heroes. They're like, can I get a, can I get a selfie? This well, and that. You know, yeah, this one like, seems a little like on the realistic side because like in Spider Man, Spider Man's the villain, and the press is you know trying to talk bad about Spider Man because Spider Man's a bad guy and all that. But this seems more like reality. In reality, people would just try to monetize it and use it and lie about it and twist it. Right. So I, I do think it's really interesting. It's interesting how like the normal people on the ground, the people who are just sitting there talking about lay and wire. You know what I mean? Like those people just have no voice when it comes to these people like wow not only can they not do anything because they're absolutely superhuman but because the whole entire system will take everything that happens and like bury it lie about it wait so before we get in that we kill one of them so what happens then i guess you kill one what what are they gonna do yeah like you're asking the right question that's why i was trying to get right into it because the question now is like where the heck does this show go from here i mean obviously they're gonna be trying to chase these guys down and tear them down the whole time you know but i don't know i don't know where this is gonna go because because they're backed so much by like a company or a business definitely that lady's high up there but when someone dies i'm sure like the person who did it is gonna get like so much you know oh yeah yeah, and another thing i was wondering is like you know the show seems like it's saying okay the point of the show is we got to take down these this this bad corporation right but what happens when like something happens in the show and we need these people and all of a sudden we're rooting for them so it's gonna be interesting it's gonna be a ride thank you guys for tuning in man let's watch the second damn episode so the seven bot and huey and billy Mm -hmm. you're you're not a fed (laughs) you hear that you might wouldn't have grabbed that wire if you wasn't a fed america's favorite invisible wanker dead on the floor (laughs) 
Yeah, but when his bones decay, maybe they'll turn into bones and not be invisible anymore. Hey, that gets me. That gives me enough time. <laughs> I have worked. For, I work for loads of people. I'm what you might call an independent contractor. Oh you hell! Got a problem, oh, 1099. <laughs> I was gonna say they killed him off pretty easy. Yeah, they should have confirmed it. What is that? That's a problem. Oh, thanks. He's alive. No, no, no. Yes, yes, he's alive. Okay, pull over. No, 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 Huey, you don't get it. Pull the car. This over. So it works. He's seen our faces. <laughs> he knows where you work. Right. Let me out. Pull over. Huey. You walk away now, and you will never get payback for Robin. You'll spend the rest of your life sitting on your ass. Regret. Now, is that what Maybe you he lost someone to them too, because yeah, he's right. in it for some reason. I know a bloke, a top man. He'll know what to do. What if that guy's like a worse guy? <laughs> <laughs> you know. What you love? Frenchie about. <laughs> he's like, I haven't seen innocence in a long time, <laughs> honey. Boy, Frenchie. Good to see you. Good to see you too, mate. Means you brought that 40,000 you owe me. I mean, why else would you show your face around here? Because... What has he got that guy into? I've got something <laughs> even better for you. How would you like to double your money? Mm. A double of zero is zero. Who is he? This guy? Oh, this here is Huey Campbell. We're, uh, working a living job together. <laughs> and he's still alive. <laughs> you and I work together and you're still in one piece. Am I? <laughs> Do you want to know what the... Is or not. Open it. Who is in there? Where's your sense of adventure? Mm. Friendship? Oh no. You dumb f the f dead! Have you any. <laughs> That's translucent. Whoa, 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 whoa! Go away. He's cheaped. Homelander can be on his way right now. Shit. This is not my problem, huh? Fergie, I need your help, mate. Oh my god. Ah, here comes the A train! <laughs> I'm sorry. I asked for translucent. I was about to say he has a translucent shirt <laughs> I know. on. Translucent is on a secret undercover mission right now. <laughs> it's like Booby Miles. <laughs> my wish was to meet translucent. That was my only wish. You need to pick a better yeah. one. Yeah, for sure. Um, well, you know, maybe you can swing by next week or some, <laughs> something. <laughs> oh, That's no. That's terrible. I, oh. Maybe I can't turn invisible, but I am the world's fastest man. You'll teach me to outrun cancer. Hmm. He needs some PR training. Oh, that's live. We got all the people. Yeah. How many times do I have to tell you that A train needs to be scripted? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so mm. sorry. Okay. I will not have me yet. And where is Translucent? He hasn't triggered any of the motion sensors. He's probably out on another one of his vendors. Get a backup. I'm on it. Okay, go. Hello? Black Noir. We haven't properly met yet. I'm Starlight. Come on, say something. Oh, I can't leave. I'm oh. pulling nothing out. <laughs> I look forward to working with He wasn't you. naked. How are you settling in? It's an adjustment. This is Trevor from Crime yeah. Analytics. We are sending you on your first patrol. To team up tomorrow night. A crime itinerary? Yep, where and when to find the bad guys. That's what my department does. Better intel than the police. Mm. I, I like to do my own investigating. And that is why we love you. It's not coming from us. It's corporate. Oh, she's not going to like the corporate right. landscape, is she? Uh, you know, back in Des Moines, I always rolled alone. And that is why we love you. At least a 23% <laughs> uptick in social that media mentions and hero you. hashtags when there's a team up. Wow, so they're trying to make money right now. Right. It's weird they have an itinerary, right? Yeah, it's weird. That's suspicious as hell. It's like they're manufacturing the crime or something, right? Right. Maybe Compound V is. Did they chop them up and put them in those briefcases? That stuff really blocks the chip signal. You're in tech intelligence. Uh, sales and installation. Amateurs! Oh, yeah! Ooh, find them bars, son. You only bollocks yourself again. Dang, you can't whoa, even whoa, stand whoa, whoa, whoa. up. Uh, okay, what do you guys want? Money? We don't want your f money. Oh. That cage was very inhumane, wasn't it? <laughs> what do you think, Jeez. Frenchie? You just dropped the moby problems on my plate. <laughs> That's what I think. Okay? He can reorder his carbon on his skin into metal material. As hard as diamonds, it's nearly impossible to penetrate. All right, I bet we suffocate him. Some Dominicans already tried this way back 07. And what happened? They're all f dead. That's what happened. We need to pierce the skin somehow. You're gonna kill him? <laughs> and they're way uh, past that. Like what? Bring me for a happy meal. <laughs> <laughs> there are so many crazy things about what you just said. <laughs> You're talking about randomly killing one of the most famous men on the planet. People tend to notice that kind of thing. Not when you're invisible, though, right? He could be anywhere. Mm -hmm. Can't get A-Train if you're a greasy smear on the pavement. Not a murderer. I am. 
<laughs> Cold enough, huh? The race is coming up quickly. How you feeling? Let's just say I like my chance. I'll always protect you. I regret to inform you that I've located the mayor's Gulf Stream. Two miles down at the bottom of Hudson Canyon. There are no survivors. And I've yet to locate the flight recorder. It was fragmented. There was one engine fully intact. It appears to be engine failure. I'd like to. Off it was fabricated. Mm -hmm. It was, yeah. Oh, still going strong, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've just been pumping for 30 minutes and I got quarter of an ounce. Hey, hey, go easy on yourself. Come on now. Personally, I think it's amazing that a woman your age have a baby, period. So sweet of you to say. Oh, no problem. Hey, you found translucent yet? You heard about that? Mm-hmm. Not yet? Well, you know, I could search for him personally. That's not necessary. Right. Hey, did you hear about the mayor of Baltimore? Yeah, heard his plane went down. Some sort of engine trouble. Yeah, it's awful. I saw him on Tuesday. I had a meeting with him right here. Wow. Oh, so maybe. Right. Well, hug your kids, right? Because you never know what might happen. So true. Mm. You know what's interesting? The deep told me, and only me, that there were uh, scorch marks on the mayor's engine. Almost as if from two small, high-intensity beams, roughly the width of human eye. It was Scott. Mm. Say what you mean to say. Your brand is hope, baseball, America, sunshine. You don't do vengeance. He was blackmailing you. I am the last person you need to save. Did the timing occur to you? I have half the Senate Appropriations Committee coming tonight. His ego is challenged. How did he even know about Compound V? You do not need to hide things from me. I can do more. You've already grossed $12.3 billion for us. Right. I'm the one who's out there. I'm the one who, 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 who knows the audience. I need you to charm the sh out of those congressmen. Because that's all I'm good for, huh? Smile, look pretty, say my lines. Whoop, 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 whoop. No, no. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> you just need to let me protect you. Oh, you're going to protect me? Mm -hmm. Gods are pure and they're perfect and they're above it all. They need to stay that way. That's manipulating music. The less you know, the better, buddy. It's the vibe I'm getting. But why is he going out of his way to blow up planes for her? I don't know. He's in love, huh? Yeah, but do you hear this music? Thank you. Oh, her titties leaking. Look. Hello? Where have you been? I've been calling hospitals. I'm fine. I, I thought maybe you'd been hurt or, or kidnapped. I saw this dateline on human trafficking. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> He's a whole grown Where'd man. You go? Just been drinking at Anthony's. You don't lie to me. Yeah, it's kind of hard to explain. Listen, I know you've been taking Robin's accident real hard. Come home, Huey. I gotta go. W wait, you. So his dad loves him and he loves his dad, but his dad's just not filling him on this pain that he's in. We dumb. Mm. Well, I heard we had a meeting, so uh, I'll just leave you to it. Well, we're having a meeting right now, aren't we, Deep? You and me. Yeah, he's snitching. He's snitching on him. He seems scared of him. Yeah. So, uh, what, uh, or is there, is there anything I can do for you, Homelander? I don't know, maybe I'm stupid. Am I stupid, Deep? Ow! You're not stupid. <laughs> smart. Very smart. <laughs> right? Yeah, okay. So, what possible reason made you run to Stillwell and tell her what you thought you said? All right, look, I, I thought, I thought, I don't even know, I don't know what I saw down there. I didn't really see anything down there, as a matter of fact. And I trust we never have to have this conversation again. Man, if you're that scared of him, why are you even saying anything? Right. Uh, go f*** Shamu in the blow. Shamu's like, please, I don't want to again. <laughs> he's crazy. He's forcing himself on us. Do you think that's what he's really listening to? I, th I would think he's listening by step-by-step -step instruction. Rounds coated in the same carbon metamaterial as his skin. Dang. It'll work. It'll work. Man, they're about to put him down like damn, like old yell or anything. Guys? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> no, let him, let him. Oh, man. The ricochet. You stupid mother... <laughs> but what if you just don't feed him? You're dead. They ripped it open. They're gonna know where he's at now. Or he's gonna escape. That was great, guys. Well, that was the awesome. only reason I'm gonna have to disagree is because the whole point of that stuff right there was to cover up the signal of his tracker. Oh, and now there's a oh, hole ripped oh. in it. And your boy with the laser eyes about to be on in the there. lookout. He just said he wants to go look. Where are you going? Got an idea. Try not to bugger each other. Bugger each other. It's a crazy building, isn't it? Mm. Are you Annika? You look really nice. Thank you. Could you please show me? Yeah. 
Well, we haven't been able to ping Translucent's trip until about five minutes ago. You're right. He's somewhere in this 10 block area. That is the best you can do. Tell security to search the area door to door if necessary. They think he's on a bender. <laughs> what a surprise. A water crime. Bot just wants me to make my big pretty dives in the water and flash my Still, demeaning. You're demeaning. What's your problem? Is this about the other night again? All right, I took my share of shit when I first got here, okay? You got a crush on me, remember? That gives you no right. You shut your fing mouth. Or what? You'll sick a grouper on me? <laughs> oh. See, I asked around. You're not number two around here. Everyone thinks you're a joke. Me, most of all. You stuck up, little. You ever touch me again, I will burn your eyes out. Oh. Yeah, she's gonna make you a damn filet of fish. Is it called a filet of fish sandwich or something? Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're gonna turn you into. We'll finish this later. You take him from the front. We'll come in from behind. Hello. Oh my god. <laughs> Get cuddle with that. Hey boys. That was really what? good. Smile the at the camera. This? Yeah, stand over him and say this is lit. Oh. oh, hey, Jimmy. Oh, I'd be pissed. This is lit. Smile at the camera, Starlight. I'm still confused. Did they orchestrate the whole thing or did they just let it happen in the hopes that they could capture it? That's a good question. Mm hmm Congrats on your promotion, Susan. Madam Deputy Director, right? <sighs> Ex-wife, maybe. What are you doing? Ex-girlfriend then? Just need a quick dick out of some of your files. Translucent, if you go on. Why translucent? The Mallory files are dead and buried. You're the deputy director of CIA operations. Dig them up. No. You made it suicide to go after the soups. What are you even doing back involved in this? Five minutes alone with a piece of paper. For old times' sakes, and I want to know. Get out of my house. Did I mention this is life or death? I'll send an edible arrangement to your funeral. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be paranoid that he escaped. I know, because you couldn't tell. At all times, yeah. I'd be throwing baby powder on his ass. Mm -hmm. Hi. Oh, man, you're too damn nice. Yeah, um, I thought you might be thirsty, so... Oh, my God. Dude. Well, if you don't want it, I can always... No, no, no. Are we going to see it go down Jeez. his body? I don't know. So listen, um, no. I need to ask you some questions about A-Train. When he uh, burst through that woman the other day, Robin Ward, I, I need to know why. Where was he going? What was he doing? Why was she you? Sister? Girlfriend? Girlfriend. <sighs> That's what all this is about, Christ. What makes you think I know anything about it? I know you and A-Train were tight. You guys came up together. What are you, a f fan? Listen, those two guys in there, they want to kill you, okay? So you give me something, maybe I can- What? Hold them off. They hang on your every word. Big man around here. Okay, you don't want to talk, <laughs> don't talk. Look, buddy, my superpower ain't invisibility. You know that, right? Is that him? I see people for who they really are. I see you too, pal. Because you know me so well, right? Yeah, I know you're trying to damn just to be tough. It's a little adorable, but the truth is, you're terrified. So you're in over your head, and you know it. This man got caught up in some junk, didn't he? I feel for the girl guy. We do crazy sh** and we got broken hearts, but now every instinct is screaming at you to head for the hills, and you should listen to that instinct. Unless we kill you first. Straight up. I got invulnerable skin. I'm a superhero guy. We fight gang terrorists. We save the world daily. I've stood in front of thousands of screaming fans, all of them creaming their jeans. Who are you? Water balloon filled with blood and meat. Dang. Homelander's gonna find me. And when he does, he's gonna burst you wide open. I'm gonna make it home in time for cocktails because that's who you are and that's who I am. You're not the hero of the story. I'm not the one who's trapped. Well, good luck. I tried. Pretty tough. Great chat. Run for the hills, Huey. Yeah, what you gonna do, we Huey? <laughs> He's seeing signs. Keep your hands clean. <laughs> because thanks to Samaritan's Embrace, Asim has a bed. But our work is not done. Hi, John. Thanks for your support. I like her dress. Senator. Tomorrow morning, no one's putting soups 
in the national defense. Because God forbid we could have an advantage in an armed conflict. You send a soup over the 38th parallel, Pyongyang's gonna answer with a nuke. Man, that's powerful, huh? Right. That's crazy. America runs on weapons. My heroes are the most loyal, patriotic. Well, that's just it. Mm. They're your heroes. Why have average when you can have extraordinary? It'll be more fun at the party. No, please, please, no, no, no. Oh, this is her opportunity to make it right right here. We're all friends here. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> Wait, what? They don't look like friends. <laughs> Someone was filming it. Good job. Where'd that girl go? She ran off. <laughs> what are you exactly? Chemist, engineer, what? He just runs a little chop shop. <laughs> I know a little about a lot of things. I'm a gun runner by trade, but uh, as you can see, I developed a certain niche. Killing superheroes? No. You can count on one hand the number of dead superheroes. Sometimes you can uh, incapacitate them. Truly, you're all a joint with that. <laughs> and I said, it was so quick. <laughs> <laughs> no, just one leg is good to go. Each one with a unique power that requires a unique solution is uh, never the same twice. Who pays you to do that? Whoever can pay. Wait, so it owes that guy 40 grand. And when so you do hmm? kill a suit. He's done it before. You know, any, anyone. Um, What's it like? You know, I saw this woman once in a midtown elevator, 2008. No more for 10 seconds, I see her, huh? Stunning. 5'9", hair so black it absorbed the light, you know? Tom Ford, Pezzo Square, Louboutin stilettos. C'est magnifique. But she had, uh, she had, I never forget this, you see? She had dirt under her fingernails and calluses on her hands, and I see this, and I say, Hard strange working. for such a refined woman like this, what, you, <laughs> you're a gardener, you, no, <laughs> you're a sculptor. What is this, huh? And I think about this. She was the first person I ever killed. I carried, that was deep, huh? Yeah. I carried them all with me. It's like scars in a way, you know? Oh, I get it. So he's got to smoke the pain okay, away. Okay, Senator. You can tell he's hurting because he's doing this. Darling, mm -hmm. you know I like to watch. Mm -hmm. Can't always be in control. <laughs> like so. hell. Uh-uh. Oh. <laughs> that, that feels different. Blackmail? Oh, he's recording them? It, he had a phone, he was like, and he was a dude. I bought bras tied up. They did the old bait and switch on me. <laughs> <laughs> I was blindfolded, you, you saw that. And... I thought I was about to shove that up his ass. <laughs> it wouldn't work, because he's diamond. Is that how that works? Is his butt impenetrable or something? <laughs> like, I don't know. We don't know the semantics here. You're gonna turtle shell him. What are you doing? Shocking our invisible friend. I need him unconscious. Hydraulic press, maybe? Because I got it. Nah, that ain't gonna work. Now, what the f do you want? He was watching a turtle. What the f Starlight? What? And so glad you did it in plain clothes so you could blow your secret identity. OMG, I recognize Starlight. That's Annie January. Hashtag, she was bulimic. <clears throat> it was really stupid to do it on camera. You get a name? No, she ran off. Always get a name, Starlight, always. Man, slap her ass. So all we really have is two Delta Betas who insist they were just getting drunk in an alley. Jerry's gonna lose his sh Are they gonna fire me? Just Hopefully. be in Stillwell's office at 10. That might be best for you. Am I fired? Senator, I realize uh, how busy you were last night. <gasps> wow. Oh. These are fake. I think we both know they're not. I was with a young woman, all right? Of legal age. Her name was Rhonda. So this isn't fun. Obviously, That's Terry. The doctor is something. I'm sorry, they're authentic. I should know. I was there. You what? You that was her? Orgasms. Oh, jeez. You shiver. That will be all, doppelganger. Who the? Oh, my God. I'm so yeah, stupid. Yeah. That was all different. Anyway, person. I would love to continue our conversation a, from last like night. This is some dirty. Cool, You're really gonna clutch your pearls, Senator. I don't think either one of us is that naive. Hey, it's not, it's not fatal to be homosexual these days. It is in Oklahoma, sir, where your voters live. Even I mean, if I don't... get the bill out of committee, nobody's gonna vote for it on the floor. It don't matter if no, you're straight, you yeah, you can't have pictures like that coming out, bro. <laughs> we'll see. Like your ass is tied up and blindfolded. <laughs> like, gee, <laughs> if I was running for office, I'd be in control, I'd be, <laughs> I'd be a proud <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, about to tie me up. Well, welcome to Crime Analytics. Forget it. I'm finding myself. What's his last known position, please? Why don't I just call Miss Stillwell? And no. I... Uh oh. I'm the Homelander. Mm. Mm -hmm. And I can do whatever the f I want. <laughs> okay. 
Now, translucent, last known position. It's her birthday. Please. So this guy right here is like the leader of mm -hmm. all the superheroes. So that's went to his head. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And they're scared of him, so mm. he's obviously like stronger than them or something. Yeah. I'm not ashamed to admit though. I've outdone myself. He's like the face of all of them. Mm. He's like Cap and Cyclops if they had a baby. Is the ski, no, it's, uh, Which they would have. <laughs> then I realized this is just your shit that is hard, huh? Like a turtle. It's your insides. They're like the rest of ours. Soft. So how do you get to the Squish inside through the mouth, no, the stomach acid, the, the reflex. If I stick something down your throat, you may vomit it up. S bomb. Oh, oh no. They put plastic in his butt. Please don't kill me. <laughs> so they bombed his butt, literally. Uh, I'll tell you about A Train. The only way A Train was going that night, he killed the girl up. Pop close. Yeah, real D listing. <laughs> At this point, you gotta press that button. No, please. Listen, I know she. Dark. Oh, we need to know that. No. What is that? Uh oh. Oh, Homelander. Oh, shit. You better blow his ass up. <laughs> He's got x ray vision. He can see through the roof. And super hearing. You pull the detonator, he will hear. True. He Let's can read, read people. Lips. He can read people, remember? No. You know how much this will cost me? Put on the tab. I like that guy right there. The little he's French a good guy. Addition, yeah. yeah. He's like, he joined the resistance. Yeah. Where is it? Back door panel. Hello. Cherry. It's a bear. Fine. Is this why it's called Cherry? Because of her? Am I supposed to know what he's doing? Oh. Uh. <laughs> Nothing to see here. He pulled him over. He's the Homelander. I am talking to the Homelander. That's right, I need to see some ID. What are you doing out here? This is my place. Warrant or something. Well, if you got nothing back there, then you got nothing to worry about, right? <laughs> yeah, he can just see through the van, right? Be glancing over your shoulder your whole life. Will they there. find Back you? Up. Which they will. A that was a good plan, yeah. It really got him off the trail, huh? Mm-hmm. You can still go home. Back to your life. Attaboy. He's about to knock you out. Mm-mm. Oh, is he thinking about that girl's hands? Well, damn. If I knew it was going to be that gross, I might not have said to it. Okay. Because now y'all have so much DNA to cover up. They're going to be pissed. They wanted you to do it in that room. That was the boys, man. Uh... I'll be honest with you, the show will grow on me. I feel like I feel like the more I watch it, the more it will grow on me. You know what I mean? Uh, I really like the show I did, but dude, it was just like, these superheroes are some dicks, dude. Yeah, they they suck, Loki. This is like, <laughs> to be honest, the guy, the people in the show make me so irritated that it's kind of hard to watch the show because I just want to hit them with the, with the elbow. Yeah, because you, when you see superheroes, you want to be like, like kind of like what he did when he saw Homelander. He was like, hey, Homelander, sir. Uh, how are you? And then these ones, they're just doing so much bad stuff. I know, that stuff. man's over here searching vans without a warrant. That's Asking crazy. for IDs. Yeah. Yeah, so basically, man, this whole entire corporation is out of control. And it's basically they want to control the U.S. military. They want. Well, absolutely. Yeah. And so she did all that schemery just to get the bill in the Senate. Right. And a lot of people are basically saying, uh, we're not really cool with that, you know, the people at the top. But. It looks like that's inevitable. I mean, at some point, that's inevitable. Why? I mean, because eventually someone's going to make the argument that why would we ever risk losing a soldier when we have these supers and stuff? So right. I get it. That's a scary prospect. They've already militarized like the police force. And I, I just hate it. I hate how corrupt it is. So I'm just hoping for their downfall. Right. It's a crazy show. What do you think about the vibe of the show? Do you like do you enjoy it? Do you think it's funny? Do you like the vibe of it? I think I think I'm wanting to know more and more about like because the thing that intrigues me the most is that company, mm -hmm. like Compound V intrigues me a lot, but just the company in general because how much it controls. Like when she was when she got the no answer, she literally just flipped the script. Like so, they have so much control. Their powers are used obviously to manipulate. I mean, they can cover up murders and stuff. Right, you know, that's what I'm saying. So yeah, definitely. Uh, 
and I no think, one knows the truth about them. I think the most interesting thing in the show so far is the main character that we've met, the one who claimed to be the FBI agent. What's his name? Billy. Billy. I want to know more about him and his backstory and where he came from and all that. But right, because he was hiding from Homelander. Because yeah. if Homelander saw him, he would be, he would like, be like, "Oh, hey, I know you, you little rascal." Saw, I told you it was on sight. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Which I, I'm surprised. I thought Homelander could smell him. You know what I'm saying? They right. Making not be so super, but uh, yeah, like I said, the Homelander guy gave me the heebie-jeebies from the minute I seen him. I could just tell like he was gonna be a douche. So um, I really I like on. his costume, though. He has the best costume out of any of them. Yeah, I, his is my favorite, and I like Starlight too. I really like Starlight's character as well. Well, yeah, she's rootable. I mean, you gotta like her. I just think that there has to be someone good in the show, right? Yeah, there has yeah. to be. I mean, the ones who just killed the invisible guy. Uh, what, what was his name? Huey. I need to write these names down. Guys, I will. I'm going to write all the names down. And I'll have them memorized by next episode for sure. When we rewatch these back and stuff. And I'll you didn't recognize Huey from Scream 6? He was the boyfriend? The killer. He looked like him, but I didn't Yeah, he, he was older. the killer. Yeah, he looked older. Yeah. And then the main guy, you know, he was. Oh, in, sorry to spoil that. Before. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone's seen Scream. If you haven't seen Scream 6, and you probably ain't going to finish the franchise. Because <laughs> uh, it got bad after about four. Um, but it's fun, though. But uh, I really like the show, man. I, I don't really know what to say about it. We just need to see more. It sucks how corrupt everything is. I think these superheroes pretty much suck top to bottom. I hope that the good characters that we do have in the show continue to be good, likable characters because we really need someone to root for. And I'm just glad he hit the deck, the little button on that thing, man. That guy was out of control. And, you know, I'm not saying that I believe in, like, blowing people up with detonators, bro. That ain't what I'm trying to say. But I'm just saying, given the circumstances, I can understand why he chose to do it. Do you feel like that lady's like maybe their mom or something? Because her breastfeeding to me is giving me like maybe she's their mother Yeah, like mother what's up vibes. with that weirdness? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what's up with that. I like mean, maybe she's breeding them at Compound V. I don't maybe. know. Maybe. That's what I'm saying. That's maybe. like my assumption because she's just giving off that vibe that like sh they're so... she's pr She protects them so strongly with like money and... This well, they're that. they're they're making her money though. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's like it's weird. It's I, we're just gonna have to see more, man. I don't want to speculate too much, but we're definitely we're definitely locked in, man. We're gonna figure out what's going on in this show because there's a lot more happening than we're able to see for sure. So and I really like the characters. It was shocking and edgy in a lot of ways. So it's fun. It's twisty, but the thing that I like the most, I really like. I really like thinking about like because Starlight was saying she patrols on her own. So I guess like when you're not in the seven, you have more leeway. Yeah. I'm just interested in that. That's all. Like the company. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. It seems like I, exactly, exactly. So like they're more you, like uh, corporate. Once you make it to the top, it's all a show at that point. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And you have to be like the hope for like she's like Mad Madeline is her name. They're basically actors. Yes, stuff, so. like they're the face, but they do have superpowers, and like I'm sure they do what is needs to be done. But we haven't seen much besides like scripted things. Or we so haven't they really seem seen them do scripted. anything good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know. We're gonna. See. I mean, Homelander can fly. There's no denying that he can see through walls. There's no denying that. But it's like, can they do a real attack or, you know, I don't. Really are there real enemies? Right. <laughs> you know, are, are those really your like enemies? Bad people out there? Or is it all just normal people? I don't know. You know, maybe it's one of those things where they created this whole entire like boogeyman just to justify the existence. Right. Or they're just drugging like, people to do bad things so you can go bust them up or something. I don't know. Uh, guys, thank you so much for hanging out, man. It was a really good show. Uh. I feel like this is one of those that we're going to have to get more into the show and see what's going on, but I really liked it. So yeah. come hang out with us soon, man. We're going to drop more of The Boys. And how many seasons is this? I thing? wonder why it's called The Boys and not like The Seven. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's an interesting question. I guess we got a lot of things we got to figure out. So uh, it's going to be a journey for sure. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next one, man.